Hello everyone, you are watching the channel Incredible Facts. Hovercraft are ships in which all or a part of the machine, moving or stationary, is supported above water, soil, and ice by means of excessive air pressure, constantly pumped under the bottom into a cavity called an airbag. With its help, you can move at high speeds over both water and solid surfaces. Today, we will show you the 10 most amazing hovercraft in the world. SRN4 the SRN-4 hovercraft, also known as the Mountbatten-class hovercraft, was a combined passenger and vehicle-carrying class of hovercraft. The type has the distinction of being the largest civil hovercraft to have ever been put into service. Power is provided by four Rolls-Royce Proteus Marine turboshaft engines, each driving its own lift fan and pylon-mounted steerable propulsion propeller. The SRN-4 was the largest hovercraft then built, designed to carry 254 passengers in two cabins, besides a four-lane automobile bay which holds up to 30 cars. The first design was 40 meters, 131 feet long, weighed 190 long tons, 193 tons, was capable of 83 knots, 95 miles per hour, and could cruise at over 60 knots, 69 miles per hour. The SRN4s operated regular services across the English Channel between 1968 and 2000. BHT The BHT series craft are highly versatile air-cushioned vehicles able to work in a wide variety of operational roles. Designed to handle a high level of usage on daily scheduled operations, the British hovercraft technology range of vehicles is available as a full well-deck variant and a half-well-deck variant, meaning it can carry passengers and cargo with a combined weight of up to 22.5 tons. Able to comfortably operate in sea state 4 and in significant wave heights of up to 2 meters, the BHT can also operate in inshore waters. The craft are powered by four diesel engines, two providing lift and two providing thrust, offering both high levels of power and some redundancy in the event of an emergency. SRN6 the Sounders Row, later British Hovercraft Corporation, SRN6 Hovercraft, also known as the Winchester class, was essentially a larger version of the earlier SRN5 series. The SRN6 is a medium-sized hovercraft primarily designed for passenger service. The initial models of the type were capable of accommodating up to 38 passengers, which was greater than the maximum capacity of 18 that could be carried by the smaller SRN5. The SRN6 was subsequently further stretched to accommodate a further 20 passengers. By eventually increasing the capacity to 58 seats, the SRN6 Mark 1S became the first hovercraft to be capable of transporting a typical coach load of people. In a military configuration, the SRN6 is capable of carrying up to 55 fully equipped troops, or alternatively up to 6 tons of equipment. Eight thousand TD. The eight thousand TD is a series of hovercraft designed by the English company Griffin Hoverwork. The Griffin eight thousand TD is a well-proven design and is the most popular medium-lift hovercraft. The eight thousand TD and its military version, the eight thousand TDM, is powered by two water-cooled diesel engines. With its two five hundred and ninety-six kilowatt, eight hundred horsepower engines, it is far more powerful and seems to be the preferred choice for military operators. Capable of speeds in excess of fifty knots, fifty-eight miles per hour, this craft cruises at a speed of forty plus knots with a full payload in zero wind, zero wave conditions. Depending upon configuration, the eight thousand TD carries a eight to ten tons payload. In its commercial role, this high-speed amphibious craft can carry 50 to 65 passengers in airline-type seats, as well as their luggage. Pat 
Pack V The patrol air cushion vehicle, also known as the air cushion vehicle in Army and Coast Guard service, was United States Navy and Army hovercraft, used as a patrol boat in marshy and riverine areas during the Vietnam War between 1966 and 1970. The military developed the Pack v because its lack of draft meant that it could operate unimpeded in the shallow and re-choked waters widespread in South Vietnam, most notably in the Mekong Delta and Plain of Reeds. The Pack v was also found to be valuable because of its unusually high speeds of 60 knots, 69 miles per hour, faster than other watercraft in the conflict. However, it faced major drawbacks, including its high cost of $1 million and unreliability. The Pack vs in Vietnam were considered unsuccessful in evaluations and were withdrawn in 1970. Hivas 10 the Hivas 10 is a 10-seat amphibian designed for year-round operation as a cruising, rescue, tourist, medical, cargo, and patrol vessel on inland waterways and in marine areas, with a wave height of no more than 1.2 meters. It is made by the Nizhny Novgorod shipbuilding company Arrowhot. Also, the ship can move through shallow water, swamps, deep snow, broken ice, and overcome gentle coastal slopes, scours, and shallows. The cruising speed of hovercraft is about 37 miles per hour, but taking into account potential wind slant, speeds can reach 56 miles per hour. At the request of the buyer, the hovercraft can be modified according to its technical specifications. Equipment can be installed that will help to perform the necessary tasks with the greatest efficiency. Tandar The Tandar is a hovercraft designed by Iran, the Islamic Republic of Iran Navy equipped with this vessel which has two models, for combat and transportation missions. The Islamic Republic of Iran Navy is equipped with this vessel which has two models, for combat and transportation missions. Tandar is the combat type. General Ahmed Vahidi unveiled it in a ceremony in November 2012. According to FARS news agency, Tandar can be used with different types of weapons, including rockets, guns, and it can also launch UAVs. The Tandar can be used for coastal patrolling as a command vessel, offensive reconnaissance operations, mid-range amphibious missions, asymmetric defense as a personnel and equipment carrier for logistical support for islands and coastal areas, or as a sea ambulance for relief and rescue missions. Hivas 48 The Hivas 48 is an air cushion boat designed for year-round passenger and cargo transportation on inland waterways and in maritime areas, authorized for navigation of Class M vessels. The vessel can be used at wave heights of up to 2.5 meters and wind speeds of up to 15 meters in non-navigable waters, shallow water, icy, and snowy areas. The vessel can be used with height irregularities of no more than 0.8 meters and an inclination angle of 6 degrees. The range of operating outdoor temperatures is between negative 35 to 40 degrees. Inside the Hivas 48, there are 48 seats for passengers. If necessary, the step of the seats can be easily changed or the seats can be dismantled and the vacated volume can be used to accommodate the load. LCAC The landing craft air cushion is a class of air cushion vehicle used as landing craft by the United States Navy's assault craft units and the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force. LCAC-type hovercraft were built to replace LCM-8 landing boats. LCACs are superior to LCM-8-type boats, including in terms of maximum load capacity, speed, and displacement. The craft can make 40 knots, 47 miles per hour, under load, making her a valuable and fast transport, along with her ability to come ashore on 70% of the world's coastlines. 
Recently, the US has developed an improved version of the LCAC, called the LCAC-100. The boat's 100th version will be equipped with two engines instead of four. At the same time, the driving performance and load capacity of the boat are significantly improved. Zuber. The Zuber class is a class of Soviet-designed air-cushioned landing craft. This class of military hovercraft is the world's largest, with a standard full-load displacement of 555 tons. The hovercraft was designed to sea-lift amphibious assault units, such as marines and tanks, from equipped and non-equipped vessels, to non-equipped shores, as well as to transport and plant naval mines. The Zuber class landing craft has a cargo area of 400 square meters, 4300 square feet, and a fuel capacity of 56 tons. It can carry three main battle tanks, up to 150 tons, or 10 armored vehicles with 140 troops, up to 131 tons, or eight armored personnel carriers with a weight of up to 115 tons, or eight amphibious tanks, or up to 500 troops, with 360 troops in the cargo compartment. The Zuber class remains seaworthy in conditions of up to sea state 4. The vessel has a cruising speed of 30 to 40 knots, 35 to 46 miles per hour. That's all friends, thanks for watching. Write in the comments which of the hovercraft you liked the most. Also, click the like button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new interesting videos.